。ああ、エミリー。Cher Emily, Mademoiselle Emily Sorel, you're such a beauty, and you know, what a night we just had, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah, some call me Brisker back in Paris, but I really love when you say Alphonse with your gorgeous mouth. It sounds so good. Hmm. You're so beautiful that, let's say, you could melt with your beauty. The eternal ices from the alpine mountains top. Yeah, that's how beautiful you are. Let's drink to that with some famous wine. Yeah, mmm. I'll drink to that. What? What do you say? Hmm. You felt that the New Year's Eve was odd. Well, that is Musketeer's routine, eh? Now we're quite settled. Well, what date we have? Yeah, we are January 3rd, 1637, le 3 janvier. And isn't it gorgeous? We're lodge into the Chateau La Roche Guyon, Monsieur Jean Roy Chabot. Welcome to us. Yeah, we have both our rooms, but you know, I know the secret door. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd still think that it was an odd evening. Well, aren't you a little jealous? Yeah, you were. There were four of you in the party. We were where Armand broke up to tell me about my musketeer's duty. Oh, it was so much fun me playing the deer and you the wolves. And we laughed a lot. And you're you're jealous. You think that I find some of the other ladies more pretty than you? No, no, no. You're my best. You're the most the most beautiful woman I ever saw in my life. Well, let me tell you the truth. Okay, how it started. Uh, Rosalie, when Arma came, just after she hurried up out of the mansion, probably her fun was broken. But for her, she missed the rest of the fun. So, for Rosalie, huh, whatever. And uh, Sophie, so, uh, Mademoiselle Sophie. Uh, no, I never tell. No, no, no. Stop that. I never told that she was prettier than you. No, never. No, in fact, she had to stay back. You know, this is this was her uncle's mansion, Monsieur de Maillet. So she had to stay back. And what about Annette? Well, you know, Annette, she she came with you, but on the morning of the first January first, she got back to Paris, upset. It, it was not about me. I think she has something for Armand. In fact. Oh, Armand, such a a charming musketeer. You know what? I I. I teach him everything he has to know to be a charming musketeer, a gentleman. Eh? You know, he's the student, but I, the, I'm the mentor. Mm? I showed him everything. And you're the luckiest, Mademoiselle Misisarel, because you are hanging right now with the mentor of charm. Mm. Yeah, you find this funny. Ah. But you still think that it was odd. You heard strange stories, whatever. There's no strange stories here. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I was not very... I didn't explain to you the last three days what was happening. I had lots of duty to do. Yeah, and then when I was coming to you, it was just to talk about your charms. But you really want to know the story? Well, okay, let's, let's put that together. Let's have a conversation with great wine. Let's wrap this up to that evening, okay, the New Year's Eve. We were at that party, we already said that, me the deer, you the wolf, ha! Ah! And Armand came to tell me that I had to meet the king. And he asked me where were my friends, but yeah, musketeers duty. And then I had to join, you know, uh, it's my duty to do that. So, Sophie, let us take one of her carriage. Rosalie was already gone away, Sophie stayed at the mansion, and Annette wanted to go along. So yeah, we rushed to Chateau. You remember that? Uh, maybe it was not that comfortable, but yeah, admit it, it was fun. And at Chateau, uh, we took uh, we, we took Claude, Martin's lackey, and also Emile, which is Armand's lackey. Yeah, Jacques, oh, he was... He's another lackey, he's the lackey of Philip, but he was too drunk, so he stayed there. Uh, yeah, so we rushed to Chateau La Roche Guyon. Ah, you saw me when I arrived, how I had to calm down. 
the Rohan Shabbat family that was at the castle, they were telling that there was something going on in the dungeon upstairs, you know, up the hill. Well, but, you know, what was going on there? You ask me. Yeah, you're very curious. You don't know. It was some sort of an hospital, okay? Yeah, there were hill peoples there, but not the plague. Just some sort of a strange illness. And musketeers had to take the dirty job to, to take care of this. Yeah, that's how it is. So I had to, to, to calm them down, okay? Uh, and then... That's it. Me and Alain, my likey. Uh, you, you know Alain. <laughs> you meet once in a while in the corridors. Yeah, that the happy guy. <laughs> Let's drink to Alain. All right. Me and Alain, there was lots of... Oh, I don't know if I should tell you about this. These are not happy story. You still want to know about this. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. So uh, Alain and me had to take out the corpse all night. So I didn't want to bother you with that. Yeah, that's why I was so tired uh, January 1st, because all night we had to get out the bodies. And on the morning of January 1st, I got to the priest of uh, Roche Guyon. I don't remember his name, but the, uh, the, the priest came to make a ceremony before leaving those poor corpses into the pauper's grave because we didn't know who they were. Yeah, these were poor people. Yeah, and I rushed back to Paris because I had to meet my king. But uh, instead, I met with Mr. Le Trevi. Oh, Mr. Le Trevi is my captain. He's the, he's the head of the musketeers. And why? Wow, yeah, he loves me so much. Let me tell you, he loves me so much that he calls me son. But not, not, not this. He was, um, he sent me back. That's uh, you know, that's fate, you know, that we are lucky to be together into that castle. It's because of Monsieur de Trevi. I think it's fate that is making us together, mademoiselle. Oh. And that's it. So I have to check out the dungeon while uh, some more investigation are to be made about this maladie. But this plague, no, it's not a plague, it's, it's an illness. And you know, I'm very healthy. You see, I have no symptoms of anything. You know, I, you know I, how healthy I am. Uh, but, oh, you saw things and you heard stuff. What did you saw? Ah, from the windows, okay, there were... There were lots of uh, torches and lanterns outside, so you saw some stuff. You, you saw, ah, two cardinals guy, guards, one without a shirt. Ah, <laughs> the, ah these are my great friends, Etienne and Jean-Luc. Yes, uh, no, there's no rivalry between the musketeers and the cardinals. These are just rumors. These are my great friends. These are great pals. Yeah. What did you saw? They were with a woman... And, oh, she took the lantern of one of them and ran away at some point in the wood. I wonder if it is that mute serve. No, no, I don't know that woman. I know I never mentioned a mute servant, but uh, nevertheless, she did. She, okay, do you say that she ran away? Well, maybe it was too much for her. Maybe she was ill herself. That's probably that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, you saw something else. Okay. Oh, yeah. This was Captain D'Artagnan with some reinforcement. Yeah, a couple of musketeers to, to, to help us. Ah, you saw him shout at me. Oh, well, you know what? Captain D'Artagnan thinks I'm the best. I'm a model. I'm an inspiration for all the musketeers. Everyone should look upon how I do it. I, I am, yeah. And shouting at me is a way for him to say how he appreciate me. Yeah, Captain D'Artagnan, another one that really loves me. You know, how can you hate someone like me? Huh? Okay, these were not prisoners. Okay, let me, let me pour some more wine and tell you about this. Okay, these were not prisoners. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. These were some of the people working in the dungeon to find a cure to the illness and, and some of the patients. They have been brought back to, to Paris, you know. And ah, some of them looked odd. How odd they were. In the flick of the lantern, you saw that four of the ladies were exactly alike. Well, they're quadruplets. Think about 
Their mother, she must be very proud to have quadruplets. They were dressed the same. They were acting the same. Ah, you know, twins, triplets, quadruplets. It's a mystery of the God. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they brought them. Yeah, of course. And what? What else? Um, ah, you heard stuff. Okay, yeah, Monsieur Jean Ranchabot declares that Martin, my friend Musketeers, my dear friend Musketeer, rented the dungeon. Well, I don't know much about that. I know that he, he some from noble families, let's say. So maybe it's possible, but yeah, no. Maybe he's confused. I also tell you that the queen herself wrote to Martin. Uh, no, not Martin. No, no, you, you get me confused. No, he wrote to Monsieur Jean Rohan Chabot. All right. Well, it's, this is a very serious illness. I know that the, the queen has some sort of an hospital, okay? So maybe it was an extension of that. Yeah, I'll investigate. I'll tell you one day about this. Mm. Yeah. What else? You never saw my friends go away. Well, they're very fast, huh? You know, they, they're, they, 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 they have a key, keen mind to, 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 to be, get on the duty. They got back to Paris, to tell you the truth. And yeah, they let their lackeys behind. Uh, you know, they, they're all fast, especially Philippe. He's a very fast little young musketeer. You should, we should look upon his the next Capitaine d'Artagnan. Of course, I will show him everything I could to make him go to that, to that goal. Huh? Mm. And, oh, this morning, the, 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 this morning, the, the, the family was talking about rumors that got around Paris. What sorts of rumors? A fight in Notre Dame de Paris? You're out of your mind, mademoiselle. It can happen. Musketeers fighting, but it's, it's not clear if it's true or not. It can be. There was, there were guards all around. The king and the queen was there, of course. And son eminence himself, the cardinal, was there. So, such thing can happen. Yeah, this is a strange rumor, you know. Ah, uh, no, no, don't, don't, don't listen to these crazy rumors, okay? Everything is fine. Especially when you're with me, huh? Oh, and they were talking about a, a, a gunpowder seller that died. Uh, why? Oh, okay, no, I was thinking about... Okay. You asked for it. This is a more creepier story. You love creepy stories? Well, okay, let me tell you about this. Monsieur Poudrier, from what I know... I heard the story so far. I had a letter. Uh, he's now unfortunately dead. How did he die? Well, don't exactly know. We, do, we know what is the cause, but why? Okay, Jacques, the lackey of Philippe, went around the musketeer's barrack to fetch something and he stumbled upon the body of that Mr. Le Poudrier. Oh, I, from the story I've heard, it wasn't pretty. All his, uh, you know, all his throat was kind of enlarged. And he, it was, uh, his throat was filled with Hungarian coins and his mouth too. So he suffocated from being <laughs> put money into, yeah, I know that. It's very terrible, but he suffocated from having money in his mouth and his throat. He, yeah, uh, dead by dead by lack of air. And I don't know who did this. And uh, there's lots of dirty things going around. That's why musketeers are here to protect friends. But sometimes we, unfortunately, uh, some stuff are getting past our view. Uh, yeah, I know that this is that this is. It. How did you know about this rumor? Yeah, well, you know, and, and throughout the coins, when they they, they were they, they saw in his mouth that there was a a small goat, you know, a small 
figure of a goat sculpted from a bone, apparently, and on it it was say there was something written, uh, something like uh, "Good leave and Nimi will come back." And, uh, it's not important, you know. It's, this is musketeer stuff. Good leave. You, you you think that it's good to leave Lucier? Oh, probably not. I'm sure that is there are other good leave, eh? but you know, forget about that. Um, and by the way, um, let's say, hey, what are you doing in four days? Yeah, I had an invitation so I can be accompanied by a pretty lady like you. Uh, there's a play that will be played in Paris, January 7. Yeah, my name is on the list, huh? and this is a young. Uh, author called Corneille. I don't know if you know him. I think he, he did some stuff before. And I've heard that it's a very good play. Uh, that is, This is the premiere of that. It's called, I think, Le Cid. Yeah, I don't know if it will be good, but since it's, it's got, costing me nothing to get there, why not? Huh? Oh no, no more stories, my dear. My dear Emily. I think I'll go to bed since I have a lot of stuff to do. Oh yes, I my duty is not over yet, and my duty, well, my heart it was is with you, but my soul is with the musketeers. So, shh, I'll get back to my room without a noise. Good night, and yeah, you know, with the musketeers it's all for one and one for all, but. While we're here in this castle, every night it will be all for you. Good night, my dear.